And run away. Run. Me? <laughs> Me? I don't run away. So you don't want to fight David Hay, no? You had an offer, you did not accept it, and you were out. David, you want to tell me that my face? You want to tell me my face? You want to tell me my face? Oh, tell me my face then. I'm coming there, tell me my face. My face. You want to fight me? The winner by unanimous decision, Richard the Alien Grant. So Butler's number eight ranking is going to take a hit. Richard Grant in the mild upset, a unanimous decision victory. A un Butler just ran across the ring. Butler just went over there and sucker punched, sucker punched and knocked out Grant. Oh boy. Terrible. And the, new and the new commissioner, Ray Kelly, will do something very, very enforceful here. You want to talk about fairly careful here. All he's doing is putting another little round in the bank. And nothing wrong with this. If he, if he can win rounds, Reg, without using up too much steam and the fight does go late, then fine. Do the right thing. Don't take chances against a danger man until you have to. Well, not surprisingly, the heavy rollers in the go going over to uh, McCall saying, what are they going to say to him? And he's walking all around the ring. Unbelievable. I've seen the fighters do it for maybe 10 seconds. And George Benton is not amused. Reggie, he has that face on as though he's ready to burst into tears. I mean, yeah. look at his face. It's as though he's disappointed himself and everybody look, else. Is. Isn't I it? said he'd do that on the way in. He's doing it now. And normally he does this to pump himself up, but this looks like the opposite. It's as though he's lost interest. I don't know what's going on here. He's caught her trying to talk him into it. Look at Jim's scorecard in the middle of this. Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Oh, that, oh, that will stop him laughing about that right hand punch. And again, he's actually challenging him to knock him out to him. That's what he's doing. He's looking away Crazy from Lewis. Crazy as a coot, this is. Not even looking at the punches coming here, but Lewis, don't don't run into him. If not, Lewis is going to stop it. He stopped the fight. That's a disqualification, Reggie. That's a disqualification. I hope it is a disqualification. Oh, they're diving in above us. Probably as a preventive measure. And whoa, somebody just. There's been a, a parachutist, a skydiver, has just landed here at ringside. Time. Tried to come into Time. the ring. He Time. hit the ring ropes. And there is chaos here at Caesars Palace in the outdoor stadium. Well, Riddick Bow and uh, Wise work there. They've got some warm blankets for him, putting. Covering him up, uh, Holyfield has a towel wrapped around him in his corner. Well, Tim, they, neither guy had an advantage because they both did it at the same time. So they're both on the stools, and uh, please, please clearly this is, uh, this is a first in, in boxing history and uh, not a distinguished first. We're going to show you the... Watch the left side of your screen where the bow corners in the foreground. See the photographer's looking and he landed on the top ring with his parachute hung up on the overhead canopy and the lights. And then he falls back. The champ was shooting craps and losing. Liston was in no mood to be harangued by the mouth from the south. Drawing a gun, Sonny fired, frightening his young tormentor into a hasty retreat. The gun was filled with blanks.